Hey guys, Archie B here back with another video. So today is a very different video. Um, previously I've done a lot of lifestyle stuff, sit down videos. Today I'm actually gonna get my hands dirty. It's pitch black, freezing cold. It snowed last night or the night before. So I'm a bit wet, um, been on my knees already. That's what she Got said. Got the car jacked up. Uh, if you didn't know already, I do own a Mini Cooper S, which is right here. This is my track car. Um, it is my car that I drive for fun. I don't usually drive on the road but I'm trying to fix it up so it can get its MOT and I can get it back on track. Currently, what's wrong with it is a wheel bearing has gone, so the front left has gone. I had issues with the front right and now the front left has decided to give up. So you're gonna see me just changing that. If you're not interested, I'm really sorry. I know this isn't my usual content, but obviously I do love cars. Um, and my car videos have actually been doing really well lately. So if you are interested, make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see. I will give you a full walk around in probably another video in the daylight. But other than that, hope you enjoy the video. So you're going to need a 32mm socket. I've got an impact which makes it a lot easier. But you're going to first of all need to take off the wheel bearing nut, which is the centre nut which is just down here. So obviously for me, pretty easy. Just gun it off. So, excuse me for my attire, it's not the greatest. However, I don't have any other old clothes. I didn't want to ruin anything that was white, so I'm wearing my mum's jumper and wearing something that my dad got me a long time ago. There's a lot of rust there actually. Oh god. Uh, right, moving on. I feel like this could be like a series, a series like Idiot Tries to Fix a Car. This is going to go wrong. So I've just cleaned up, um, it got really, really late. Oh, yeah, got really, really late. Um, thought that it was best for me to stop, I got kind of wound up because I couldn't get this one bit off. Eventually I got it off um, and I made, managed to save the bolt, which I thought I would threaded. But yeah, so that's all sorted. I will resume tomorrow morning. So the next time you see me will be in the morning. We're gonna jump in the hot tub, just relax for a bit now, but I am absolutely exhausted. So what is up guys, back in my horrible clothes again basically uh it's a new day i am absolutely shattered but i'm just doing this before my lectures I've got lectures at half one so hopefully i'll get it finished as you can see current state of the car i got the drive shaft off steering racks at the end of that what uh and then we've got the lower wishbone down here which i've knocked off so this is now free to move as you can see it's pretty grimy up there it's not in the greatest of shapes at some point i'll probably take this car completely apart and kind of rebuild it again but at the moment i don't have time for that i'm just trying to get it in work in order obviously the car has been sat for quite a while so it's been a lot harder to work on than it usually would be where everything's sort of moved and been taken on and off quite recently Just in case you're wondering, um, I'm not actually trying to use the impact to gun it off as such. I'm trying to use it to break the seal because we do put Loctite in there. What we don't want is the vibrations to essentially rattle the caliper bolts out. Not that that's likely to happen because they are really long bolts. However, there is a possibility that it can happen. That is why we usually Loctite everything just to make sure that everything's safe on track. So the next thing I've done, obviously I've got the top bolt off, got the bottom one. So I'm just gonna go and run and grab some zip ties because we don't want it's the brake to be dangling by the brake hose, um, or sorry, the caliper dangling by the brake hose. So just to explain, for those who didn't realize what I was fixing, uh, it happened on the other side already, but the wheel bearing has excessive play. So I'm not sure if you can see this. It should not do that.
coming guys, it's coming. There we are. Doesn't matter about that falling. And there you have it. It is out. Obviously I'm going to clean up on the inside. Yeah, I didn't need to take the sensor out, which was good. So I just spent a little bit of time in the shed. Um, I've got the studs out now. They're pretty easy. They're just locked tight in. Uh, we usually do them up high and tight because the pressure of you talking down the wheel bolts is enough. Um, so just to show you, so you can, that shouldn't be making that noise. Uh, it's quite wobbly and as you can imagine at like 70 or mile an hour or if you're on track 110 120 the vibrations are absolutely insane getting it all nice and tidy i've got my new snr wheel bearing in here hopefully it's the right one which it is as i said it comes with all new hardware um snr is a pretty reliable brand and my front right has snr on it now um, it did i had one that failed but um yeah. But um, <laughs> see that? Lots of resistance. Yeah, but look at the no difference movement. between that and the other one. Yeah, the other one's so rusty. Yeah, well, that one's been on the car since I bought the car. Uh, since the car got built, sorry, not since I bought the car. Please don't cringe at me, guys. I just don't have a soft blow at the moment. Hopefully, I've lined that up pretty well. So, we've got some Loctite now. We use Loctite 270. Uh, this is like high temperature rating. Uh, also good for wheel bearings, like nuts like that. I use it on the lower control arm because obviously the one thing you don't want to lose is suspension. I also use it on a lower wishbone. Um, but yeah, the majority of the time you don't need to Loctite things. It's only in areas that are going to be really high vibration. So, teeny weeny little bit of Loctite on here. Just on the end of the threads. And you just kind of wrap it around your finger. Um, hopefully, I did line it up, which I did. I won't have to replace this wheel bearing for a long time now. And hopefully this one doesn't fail on me like the other side. If you didn't know that story, by the way, I don't think I've mentioned it. So I replaced the wheel bearing on the other side because it went uh, within about two weeks. Me and Rosie were driving along and had to get recovered because it just pretty much collapsed on us. Um, we we're actually still trying to get compensation back for it. They, Euro car parts are pretty much uh, assuming, refusing um, to take any liability um, and nor is the manufacturer. So it was also very evident as well that it come out of its packaging um, and it had been put on a car before and they had just attempted to kind of clean it up. Very nice. Um, which is kind of frustrating because obviously it was a waste of both my time, my dad's time who helped me. Um, and it just waste of money really because I'm still out of pocket about 270 pounds which if anyone doesn't think that's a lot of money then you're obviously not a student so I'm not going to use an impact to obviously put it on um, that'd be stupid because I don't think it would ever come off again it'd be nice if the video actually saw your car without the cover on it it's that red thing oh the caliper ah <laughs> learning with Rosie no, I already knew that because you told me. So what's going on guys, uh, back in my little red jumper. I've just had a lecture, uh, I hope you can hear me. So Rosie stopped filming because she had to get some bits done. I need to rush to get a lecture, but I will just show you the progress that I've made. So currently got the discs back on, all bolted up with the calipers. Um, lower wishbone, which is down here, is done. This is just supporting the control arm. We've got the, um, ah, I always forget, we've got the suspension arm, ah. So we've got the steering arm as well, or like the outer tie rod, which is finished here. Um, all I've got to do, there's a bit that I've got a zip tie here, around the back, uh, and get the wheel on. So, as you can see, no play at all, nice and rock solid, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, but yeah, I've got the bits under there and then get the car back on the floor. Just like that, that is the video over. Now that it's got its cover off because obviously all the leaves that are down there. Um, but yeah, finally back out in its glory. It's got the wrong Instagram handle because if you didn't know, I did change my Instagram. So that's my old one. My new one is in the link down below. So you can go and follow me on all my social media. Hopefully during the summer, I'll get this car out and about again. Hopefully get it on track. That is the goal. 
if you have enjoyed this video i know it's been a bit choppy and it's been a bit weird and probably a bit stressful for some of you because you're watching me doing a terrible job at fixing my car but if you haven't already please do subscribe your support means the world to me and we'll see you in the next video see ya